I'd like to call to order the Westmont Village Board meeting of July 30th, 2020, to order at 6 o'clock p.m. and ask Clerk Simsky for a roll call, please. Mayor Gunther? Here. The clerk's here. Trustee Barker? Here. Trustee Barry? Here. Trustee Guzzo? Here. Trustee Little? Here. Trustee Nero? Here. Attorney Zimanek? Here. Village Manager May? Here. Finance Director Parker? Here. Would everybody please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to welcome everyone, and this is still considered a hybrid uh, meeting. Uh, Village Hall is open uh, for future meetings. If anybody would like to attend, they're more than welcome. Uh, but we're also doing it uh, virtual through, um, so it's a combination of both. Um, and at this point, I, I asked the manager if we have any public comments. Uh, no, sir, there are none. And I'll move on um, to reports. But before we move on to reports, uh, uh, this community lost a great public servant, a great friend, um, uh, one, a current trustee, and um, Jim Addington passed away last week. And uh, what I'd like to do is before we move on, uh, everybody, all the trustees, I'm gonna call upon them to uh, maybe say a few words about Jim or just a, anything funny that you want to say is to remember them. Uh, and while we're doing that, I've asked uh, that we have a series of uh, slides or pictures uh, from Jim in his capacities at the, uh, in the community. So uh, I will start out uh, and just start talking and I'll call upon the um, other trustees. I think uh, you may have heard me say this before. Uh, Jim was probably one of my closest friends in town. Jim was, uh, when Tony and myself moved here in 77, Jim and Kathy were the first ones that um, really embraced us, welcomed us to the community. Uh, his he, family was always first with Jim. Uh, not only his immediate family, his children, Lisa and Jimmy, uh, his mom and dad, Alan, Marge, and Kathy, they all were involved in this community and they all were so close to one another. Family, and then second, I believe, was Westmont. Westmont, to Jim, was family. Uh, I joined the Lions Club in 80, and at that point he's already been in there 10 years um, he was a 50-year Lion member, uh, and Lions Club probably was his third love. Uh, we called him Mr. Lion, a district governor. Uh, Jim was just everything about Westmont was Jim Addington. Uh, I had the opportunity to co-chair Powell Days with him for a number of years. I assisted with the 75th, which his wife chaired our celebration. And Kathy and um, Jim, the Addington family, um, were instrumental and started our Taste of Westmont during that 75th celebration. Um, Kathy meant a lot to Jim because um, family was always first. And his last love, which I had an opportunity to see firsthand while I was coaching Westmont High School basketball, was the boys' basketball program at Westmont High School. During good times and bad times, Jim was there on road trips, on the bus. Uh, Jim loved the basketball at the high school. I think we all love Jim. 
He had over 30 years um, serving this community municipal, 20 years as an elected official, and then numerous committees he served on. We're all gonna miss him uh, tomorrow at uh, four to seven. Everyone is welcome to Lions Park. They're gonna do a Memorial Four gym. Uh, so at this point, I'll turn to Clerk Simsky and ask her if she would like to say a few words. Um, yes, I would. Um, when I was, well, I was in Lions Club and I also joined Rotary. And when I became president of the Rotary Club, Jim came to me and said, would Rotary be willing to come and help us with the red, white, and barbecue? And he suggested that we do the carnival section or the beer, either one, he didn't care. And I said, why don't you come to a meeting with me and have lunch and we'll talk to them about it, but I'm all for it, Jim. I think it's a very good idea. So he did come and I know a lot of the lions were not happy that he invited Rotary mm -hmm. into it. I know they weren't, but he insisted, and I said, Jim, I don't want to cause you, and he said, don't worry about it. I think it will be good for all of us if, if we all could join together and do different things. So Rotary accepted it, and both clubs made money from the carnival. It was a good, it, good experience. We worked very well together, and I'll always, now I'm gonna get teary, but I'll always be grateful to Jim because he cared for both clubs. Ron cares about both clubs. I care about both clubs. It's, but he was really generous with us and I appreciate that. It'll be important to me always. Well, thank you. I think he cared about the entire community. He did. Uh, he was definitely a mentor for me. Um, I'll turn to Trustee Barry, if he'd like to say a few words. Well, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, you know, Jim's the one who uh, I campaigned with and encouraged me to run from, for trustee originally. Uh, he, he definitely mentored me in, in this whole political game, and, and uh, he knew Westmont politics in and out. He knew what streets to campaign on, which to skip. He knew who voted, who didn't, and uh, it, it was just amazing. And, and he... And I talked to Jimmy Jr. I've known Lisa. I, I, I know the Kathy, the, the whole family and, uh, from, from town. And, and Jimmy said when he, he got back involved with the village running for trustee, it, it breathed new life into him. And I, I think we all saw that. And, and uh, I'm still in shock. I, I talked with Trustee Nero about that, that. It just seemed like he would always be somehow involved or somehow sitting there or, or, or having input or reminding us of the importance of, of the past, uh, both good and bad. And uh, I've seen a lot of other people post some things social media wise. And uh, I, I noticed this pattern and he, he, he used to always end with, you be a good boy. He used to tell me and others. And I think he was genuinely concerned that we were going to get in trouble always. <laughs> I always will remember that. And I, I've seen others post that same thing. So, uh, you know, uh, just God bless him and his family in this time and, and our prayers and, and hope they get through it. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Trustee Barry. Uh, Trustee Barker. Thank you, Mayor. Hey, you know, condolences to the Addington family. Um, it, you know, it's been seven years, uh, sitting across from Jim and, you know, that I always saw him, um, with a guy that loved this community, served this community in so many ways, but, uh, I really enjoyed when we would bring in the poster contest winners and the kids and stuff like that. He just, it perked him up. He had a smile from ear to ear and, uh, you can tell, you know, that, uh, he had everybody's best interest in mind, the town's best interest in mind, but he loved those children and the successes. And we all know that, uh, you know, those experience for those kids coming to the board meetings or being involved in their community in that way brings them back um, to love this town. And uh, 
he was a great example of that, and I'm I'm grateful for that. Um, but I wish his family all the best. I know this is terrible, difficult time, but uh, there's so many people that had a lot of respect and love for him, and uh, you know, hold on to that. So that is all, Mayor. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you, Trustee Barker. And I'm going to turn to someone who probably grew up with Jim around this town and seen him, but Trustee uh, Johanna Guzzo. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, first off, I do want to start with my condolences to the Addington family. Um, this has left a big hole in the heart of Westmont. Um, I did know Jim for a very long time, and I want to say that um, it was great getting to know him. You know, when you're younger and you're, you know, growing up, you really don't know what direction you want to go in. And I am very glad that I chose the direction to go and be involved in the village. And Jim was the first person. He actually appointed me to the Planning and Zoning Commission. And I cannot tell you how excited I was to first get started because the Johannics had been in this village all their life. And I didn't want to be in the fire service, but it was like I wanted to do something. So I will always be grateful to Jim for that. And then, as we all know, I got involved in politics. And I know him and my father had a very special relationship. And that's something I will always tre treasure are the memories. And and he's left a big hole. And I still am at a loss for words with all this. So I do want to wish everybody the best and thoughts and prayers. And um, thank you, Jim, because you will be missed. Thank you, thank, Mayor. Thank you, Trustee Guzzo. Uh, Trustee Little. Thank you, Mayor. Um, one of the most fond memories I have of Jim is that he was a senior statesman and he was um, more than willing to share his knowledge of the village, of the Red, White, and Barbecue, Ty Warner Park, and everything. He even asked me to be a judge at the, Ty, at the Red, White, and Barbecue last year, and it was wonderful to get to ride around in the Cart with people who told me all the information about I Warner Park and how it came to be and his love of uh, Westmont and Kathy involvement. And it was um, a real treat for me then. So um, knowing Jim and having known Jim, it was a real treat for me to come in as the latest um, trustee and spend some time with him. So he will sorely be missed around town, obviously. So thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Trustee Little. Trustee Nero. Thank you, Mayor. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, I echo everybody's comments so far. It's tough to where to begin. You know, it's clear Westmont lost an, uh, one of our best friends. Uh, I, I lost a personal friend and personal mentor for me. I mean, similar to, to Harold and, and Marie, uh, where, where Jim, you know, and, and when I ran for county board, was was really my right hand man and partner, um, not just in Westmont but all over the county. And you know, funny story that I just want to share is uh, Jim. Jim had it, and uh, there, I, I don't know anybody that's as politically savvy as he was, and as nimble as he was. And, and I remember seeing him at a DuPage Mayor and Managers uh, event, Mayor, when, when we represented you one time, and he worked that whole room in a matter of about 15, 20 minutes, where I, I remember telling Jim, okay, we, we get it, let's sit down and relax a little bit, and he was always business, always had a plan in place, there was a, that, during that time, we probably talked every day, and, and I really got to understand all the things that Jim was involved with, but it always stuck out, it was never about him. And all these things that we could always talk about, what, everything that he did, again, it wasn't about him. It was always about how he could help. And you start looking at all the things he's touched. And I was looking back from some photos over the weekend and all the different events that he and I were at together or happened to be at. And it was just, honestly, it's, it's amazing. And the, the impact he had on our community and, and really the county, all the former mayors. I had three or four former mayors reaching out, expressing their condolences. He touched people's lives outside of Westmont. I mean, that's the type of impact uh, Jim had. I, our meetings aren't going to be the same. I, I mean, I, I, I can already feel that as it is right now today. I mean, it's a sad time. It's, it's unfortunate. Um, but, you know, we, we did lose a good friend. I lost a mentor. Jim, I, I learned a lot from you. And you're, you're going to be sorely missed. Thank you, Mayor. 
Thank you, Trustee Nero. I think we all can say much more uh, because he's touched everyone's life in this community one way or another. Um, and again, I lost a big brother and a, a part of my family uh, when he passed. Uh, we'll move on and give uh, reports, regular reports. Um, I'd like to call upon Chief Riley. Uh, COVID-19 has been in the news uh, a lot lately. And I think, Chief, I'd like you to give maybe a little update information about it. Thank you, Mayor. So as the uh, mayor said, you know, the, uh, the COVID has really come back. And as we talked many times that uh, there's going to be an uptick uh, that's currently happened in DuPage. Uh, we're at 11,151 cases along with 508 deaths. I think the alarming note there is 404 of those 508 deaths are in long-term care facilities. So that's about 80% death rate out of long-term care facilities. If you remember last week when I gave you the update that Westmont had 383 cases, we have now spiked up to 403 cases in a week, so we've gone up 20 more. Uh, as you heard on the news in the last couple of weeks, the positivity rate was down about 2.1, 2.3, and now we're up to 3.8. So again, my comment and to the direction to everybody out there that's listening or at home is we need to continue to social distance. We need to continue to wear our masks out in the public, out in the restaurants, out into the bars. Uh, we need to hopefully, you know, get this uptick uh, back down to where we can continue to remain in phase four and do the right thing. So unless there's any questions, Mayor, uh, that's my report for you this evening. Thank you, Chief. Um, Clerk Simsky, do you have anything? Um... Oh, to announce? Yes, I do. Yes. Let me find my sheet, okay. Um, the garage sales are now permitted and no permits are required. The community-wide garage sale will be August 7th, 8th, and 9th. No permit is needed. Sign up through the village website. And my little neighbor, I knew they were gonna do it and I stopped her yesterday and said, notify the village that you're going to do a garage sale. So she was pleased to know that. So. Thank you. Trustee Nero. Thank you, Mayor. Just a few items. Our next Public Works Committee meeting will be September 24th at 4.30, and uh, hopefully we'll all be in Village Hall, but we will see. New Public Works building is 77% complete. All garage doors have been in installed, and the elevators are going in next week, so more to come on that. Um, a little update on 61st in Richmond Detention Basin, the rehabilitation project. That's going to be starting Monday, August 3rd, and is expected to be completed by the end of the month, Monday, August 31st. So keep out for that if you live in that area. Ogden Avenue Medium Project, that's expected to start this coming Monday as well. And Alley C Project, which is between Norfolk and Naperville, will also begin this Monday. So... Pay attention out there. A lot of activity this coming week on the streets. That's all I have, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Trustee Little. Thank you, Mayor. I just have a couple of items tonight. One, the Administration Finance Committee meeting will meet. The uh, next meeting is scheduled for Thursday, August 13th at 430 in Village Hall. And then my last comment is sad, but cruising night status is such that we have canceled the August um, cruise nights. So my heavy heart, I have to give it up and say that's that's it for the for so far this year. So that's all I have, Mayor. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Trustee Marie Johanna Guzzo. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, our next public safety committee meeting is scheduled for August 27th, 430, hopefully at the Village Hall. Fingers crossed. Um, and then the fire department annual fire prevention open house has been canceled this year due to the COVID-19. The fire department will be hosting an open house virtually. There will be more information to come on that. And that's all I have, Mayor. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Trustee Barker. Thank you, Mayor. Um, good news, I guess, is the Environmental Improvement Committee is going to meet on Monday, August 3rd because it's a small group, we're able to have a 
uh, meeting in Village Hall at 6 p.m. Uh, we will social distance and stay safe. But we're excited to look at uh, the events that may be able to take place, um, like pumpkin uh, composting and things in the fall, and bring some activities back in that way. And uh, there are some other topics that we're discussing. Last month, first, um, worked on a Hope for a Day program with the uh, posters and uh, in conjunction with the stuff that we were doing, the library partnered with us and they had a presentation by one of the representatives for Hope for the Day. That presentation is available at the library website um, through August 15th, I believe. And if you haven't seen it, it is an excellent talk um, by one of their members there. And it uh, has to do with, uh, you know, the stress and the strain and, uh, you know, their slogan is, it's not, it's okay to not be okay. And just the stigma that goes with the depression and the anxiety of people's feelings and uh, all the way from, you know, having a conversation with the buddy to suicide prevention, um, but just an excellent uh, short video um, that, you know, to put it in people's minds to uh, reach out and get help if they need it talk to a friend and uh, I, I can't thank them enough for partnering with us and making that happen um, so if you haven't seen it check that out at the library website and then uh, lastly the uh, census is still ongoing we're over 70 percent and you can easily um, fill out your census information at uh, census uh, 2020 census 2020.gov and uh, that is all thank you uh, thank you trustee barker i've asked uh, i've got trustee barry to not only uh report on his committee but he's um kind of assuming some of uh trustee eddington's community development committee chair so uh trustee barry thank you mr mayor uh, our, I promised an August 5th EDC meeting, but it's been canceled. So, uh, but we have been meeting weekly in smaller economic development uh, committee groups. And we're currently working on the small business retail grant program. And we want to remind people that the grant program launched on Tuesday, July 7th, and it has earmarked $50,000 to provide funds in eligible Westmont businesses that have suffered economic hardship during the COVID-19 pandemic. Awarded grant funds will pay up to 50% of municipal sales tax allocated from the business up to a maximum award of $2,000 per eligible sales tax location. So what we discussed earlier is possibly changing some of the parameters and staff is gonna look into it because um, we feel that maybe some of the parameters are too difficult for the businesses to take advantage of. So I know Spencer and his team are going to look into um, what possible changes and then bring it back to us at the board if, if they find some good fits. Um, and then as the mayor said, I am going to try to fill in for Jim on community development. We did have a special meeting last week. Uh, this was to help Nature's Best um, work through the parking lot issues that they had with our Heritage Tree program. And we did come to a, a resolution on that and they were able to get their parking lot and, and uh, our forester, John Yader, was able to uh, come up with a good program to save some trees and, and also to plant some new. So um, we look forward to that in the future and, and Nature's Best is, is going to uh, help their customers and their staff to have more parking. So, um, and then, uh, our upcoming cases to be considered at the August PCZ meeting include one North Cass, uh, a very variance request to allow, allow a larger garage than village rules, allow at 526 North Park, a variance request uh, to allow a house larger than village rules at 126 Scott Court, and a special use and B1 development permit request to allow an office at 41 North Cass. And that's a business that we're trying to move and retain. Um, and then there's many exciting projects remain under construction. Quincy Station, the groundbreaking, uh, I believe, is next Thursday. Uh, LA Fitness is uh, is ongoing. The Mystery Grocer is getting very close. 
The Starbucks anchored multi-tenant building is looking again like I was by there today. It looks very close to, to completion. And then the medical pro office project at 303 West Ogden uh, has gone vertical. And I think it's catching a lot of people's eyes that it, you can see it coming over uh, uh, both ways on Ogden now. And the FMC natatorium at Ty Warner Park uh, is the, the, we heard last week, I believe, that there's there's uh, water in the pools. And then the Cass Avenue Dream Homes is also uh, getting ready for their ribbon cutting. It's just a matter of us narrowing down the days. And then lastly, uh, the shipping container uh, improvement where we identified these illegal shipping containers around town. We are just one remaining and its uh, staff is working with them to resolve it. And I believe they have a, a hearing in front of the, uh, our hearing officer. And uh, again, that is what I have, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Well, and thank you for taking over that committee for us. Um, just moving on, uh, does anybody have any items they'd like removed from the small consent agenda? Seeing that, I'd ask Manager May to please read. Thank you. Uh, short consent agenda this evening. First item, board to consider approving the minutes of the village board meeting held July 16, 2020. It's followed by finance ordinance number six in the amount of $748,616.56. There's one purchase order uh, tonight, uh, Engineering Enterprises Incorporated, $50,000. This uh, represents the risk and resilience assessment for emergency response planning. And this is um, disaster planning in regards to the water utility uh, system. It is not identified as an on-hold uh, project and it is in fact a requirement of the EPA. That uh, the total of the purchase order with the finance ordinance comes to $798,616.56. And that is the entire consent agenda. Do I have a motion to approve as read? Motion to approve, Little. Second, Nero. Motion made and second. Any questions? Seeing none, roll call, please. Trustee Little. Yes. Trustee Barry. Yes. Trustee Nero. Yes. Trustee Guzzo. Yes. Trustee Barker. Yes. Motion passes. New business. A, honorary street designation. Board to consider a resolution for an honorary street designation. And this is for the James Addington uh, place. place. And um, we're, we're putting it at the intersection where Lions Park, Lions Park is uh, Jim's Park. Uh, it was instrumental in getting the Lions Club to um, take that over. And uh, we thought it'd be nice to have that intersection of, um, is it Ch Chicago and? Naperville Road and uh, North Wilmette. Yes, right at that corner. So um, I need a motion to um, vote, a motion to declare that intersection as the honorary street designation to James Addington Place. Motion to approve, Nero. Second, Second Barry. Most of made and second on the question. I think in front of us you see um, a sign similar to the one that's going to go up. It's going to be uh, unveiled this evening and tomorrow during his uh, memorial ceremony at the park. We will um, call attention to it. So um, um, I'd ask for a roll call, please. Trustee Nero. <clears throat> yes. Trustee Barry. Yes. Trustee Little. Yes. Trustee Barker. Yes. Trustee Guzzo. Yes. Motion passes. New business B, franchise agreement with Comcast. Board to consider ordinance approving a franchise agreement between the Village of Westmont and Comcast. I, I can cover that. Uh, Manager May. Well, the, the, it is that simple. There, there already is the uh, franchise agreement for uh, cable TV services, internet services with the 
Village of Westmont from Comcast. They, their franchise agreements are in 10-year blocks. The existing franchise agreement authorized in 2010 is set to expire. And so this agreement just uh, uh, will be again for a 10-year term. And the conditions and fees are in accordance with the uh, previous agreement. Do I have a motion to approve? Motion to approve, Little. Second, Nero. Motion made and second. Comments? Yeah, I'd uh, like to ask Trustee Parker. The manager may. Um, years ago, they had a uh, condition there that they provided a Comcast cable service to government agencies. Are they, is that still part of that agreement, or is that all faded away? No, no, it's. It's part of the agreement. It might be in a little bit different form. There's the, uh, the, the, the free institution is what they might be termed. And we do provide a list of where those buildings are. And it's the village buildings, the schools, and, um, and the like uh, for this uh, included service. There, you know, maybe the village attorney could uh, address it more specifically, but there's a, a federal ruling on one part and a local ruling on another one that uh, you know is still being debugged but that pretty much just goes to the quantity of um, facilities that can be included or at what point do you have to pay uh, you know regular service for that too but in general yes it's included uh, yeah just to elaborate on that Comca Comcast is willing to uh, provide service to all government buildings, but under a recent FCC ruling that came out in 2019, uh, they, any state statute that mandates that that service has to be free to government buildings uh, is no longer valid. So the village would have to pay for service to government buildings. Um, that FCC opinion is being appealed by a number of cities around the country in the six, six uh, circuit federal court and if that FCC order is overturned then the village will be getting free cable uh, if it's if the decisions upheld the village will have to pay for cable uh, interesting thank you thank you John thank you any other comments I'd ask for roll call please trustee little yes trustee Barker yes trustee Nero Yes. Trustee Barry? Yes. Trustee Guzzo? Yes. Motion passes. New Business C, Intergovernmental Agreement, Village of Addison, Westmont Fire Department. Board to consider ordinance approving an intergovernmental agreement between the Village of Addison slash Addison Consolidated Dispatch Center and the Village of Westmont Fire Department and I manager um, me. The uh, actually this item and the next item are both related to dispatch services. First one being the fire department and the other one being the police department. We do, uh, for those that are not aware, the uh, dispatch or the the 911 service is uh, handled by one of two. What's it called? I forgot what PSAP stands for. Something answering Public point. Safety. Public safety answering point. Public safety. And the um, uh, and we're uh, with the contract with the village of Addison to provide those um, services in a new facility that they recently built and dedicated. The term of that agreement is up. This is a renewal of an existing contract uh, with the the terms refined and the um, you know the rates agreed to. And then just while we're describing it, that is true for the police department uh, dispatching as well. And this goes through 2023. And isn't it? True, the county wanted to consolidate. Yeah, the well, the it was not just the county; it was a, a state law that required that the amount of PSAP. So, before Addison, we were dispatched by the Village of Downers Grove. Before the Village of Downers Grove, we had our own center in the uh, police fire facility at 500 North Cass. And uh, over time, for all good reasons, the the total number of PSAPs allowed in your uh, county was limited by essentially by population so in DuPage County there were three permitted when the law was uh, enacted uh, the 
sheriff's office uh, operated one of them, and then the rest had to do uh, between the other two. There was an existing DUCOM, DuPage Communicate, whatever DUCOM stands for, they were already existing, and Addison was a, a newly created one. And all communities in DuPage County go through either DUCOM or Addison, and I understand the sheriff's office is now looking to further consolidate, and there will only be two PSAPs in DuPage County when done. Okay. Do I have a motion to approve the agreement? Motion to approve. Nero. Second. Second Little. Barry. Little Sorry, Peter. Linda. Sorry. <laughs> okay. um, I have a motion and second it. Do we have a uh, any questions? If not, I'd ask for a roll call, please. Trustee Nero. Yes. Trustee Guzzo. Yes. Trustee Barker. Yes. Trustee Little. Yes. Trustee Barry. Yes. Motion passes. New business D. Intergovernmental agreement. Village of Addison for the Westmont Police Department. Board to consider ordinance approving an intergovernmental agreement between the Village of Addison slash Addison Consolidated Dispatch Center and the Village of Westmont Police Department. Again, Manager May, this is the same as the same fire Same description, department. just yep. Police Department. Do I have a motion to approve? Motion to approve, Little. Second, Nero. Motion been made and second to approve. Any comments? Yeah, I have a question. This one, maybe Chief Riley is still available, but I remember when we got involved with Addison, that, uh, um, the village insisted that they also cover the police department. And I'm wondering how many police departments Addison now covers, if you have any handle on that. I do. They cover seven fire agencies and they cover eight police agencies. And as uh, Manager May stated, the DuPage County Sheriff will be going into Addison effective December 1. So okay. they'll have a total of nine police and seven fire. Okay. Thank you, Chief. And it is very, I mean, I learned a lot when they were going through that whole process, but there is a, it's a very different thing dispatching police than it is fire. And uh, they, it is literally two dispatch centers within one building uh, the, the way that's all handled so it is not necessarily a requirement that both your police and fire be at the same place but it's certainly uh, effective for us any other comments and we do have a motion in a second i'd ask for roll call please trustee barker yes trustee guzzo Yes. Trustee Nero. Yes. Trustee Barry. Yes. Trustee Little. Yes. Motion passes. Um, that's all new business. Miscellaneous. Does anybody have anything um, they want to comment on? Uh, if not tomorrow, hopefully we will see uh, people that knew Jim. Or even if you didn't, uh, at Lions Park, it'll be outside. Uh, there's plenty of land there to satisfy the uh, state's requirement. So uh, anybody, this is a family-run event. Um, uh, and also the mass tomorrow morning at Holy Trinity. But that's an invitation only due to the uh, 100 people limit. So I hope I'll see everybody tomorrow. Uh, I want to thank everybody for participating. And again, um, this meeting is adjourned. I need a motion to adjourn the meeting. I can't just do that. Oh, motion to adjourn, Nero. Second, second little. Second, Barry. Well, you two are right there. <laughs> um, motion made and second to adjourn. Roll call, please. Trustee Nero. Yes. Trustee Guzzo. Yes. Trustee Barker. Yes. Trustee Little? Yes. Trustee Barry? Yes. Again, I'd like to thank everybody for um, attending and also all the comments about um, Trustee Addington. Again, good night. Thank you. <laughs>